So we're all going to do a little bit of an exercise now because like if you're like me, I sit in front of a computer all flipping day and I got stiff knees and it's just ridiculous. So you can turn off your uh, camera if you don't want anybody to see you, but I don't care. So um, I just want everybody to take a good deep breath. When you breathe, you should breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And you just want to get a nice steady breath going on because today you have learned a lot. And there's times when you probably stopped breathing and you weren't even aware of it. And then there was times when maybe you're breathing a little extra. The airways are opening up a little bit too much. Um, especially if there was anything that you kind of that's that felt scary at all. And, you know, stuff happens all the time. Those are responses that are automatic. Um, everyone can do this exercise, but what I would like to ask is that people uh, unmute their mics. And I would like you to actually close your eyes. So it's kind of interesting, right? Rather than having the shield, you can keep the shield if you want it, uh, but we would be together in closing our eyes. Now you just went through an entire journey today and it kind of doesn't matter if you were here for five minutes or all day, because even when you walked into this space, um, you, you, walked into, you walked into an activity that was already happening. And so when you walked in, even if it's virtual, something was already happening and then you started to journey with the other people so as you've got your eyes closed, I want you to just take yourself through the day. What do you remember? What are the images that come to mind from the day? Were there thoughts that repeated? Were there themes that seemed to keep emerging? Were there opinions that you agreed with? Yay! We always feel warm and fuzzy when, yay! Everybody agrees with me, yay! Were there times where you felt unsettled? Maybe you hadn't thought of that before. Were there times when you felt scared? Or totally into it? Did you get bored? Was there a color that repeated itself and stuck in your mind? A picture? A moment? What did you think you understood, but then realized, oh my God, I don't have a clue. Was there a moment where you judged? Did you judge yourself? Did you judge somebody else? What kind of judgment was it? Did you find yourself saying, I know? Or did you hear something like bad choices? Or <coughs> choices? And what about that bottom line? So 
So now you can you can slowly open your eyes. And we are going to play a game. That's all we're going to do uh, for this next little while. And it's a gift to it's it's a gift to a few people actually. Um, it's going to be a gift to uh, the funder who uh, needs to kind of know what's what's coming next. And it's going to be a gift to um, to a better tent city. And of course, it's going to be a gift to everybody in the community as well. So we're all going to do this together. We are going to ask the questions that we think need to be answered for a better tent city to survive beyond its year pilot and to move forward. We're also going to ask questions about what we need so that there is no homelessness in uh, Kitchener-Waterloo, that, that housing is actually realized as a human right. We're not gonna tell people what we think should happen. And it's gonna be hard because we're all used to doing that. All right? So um, if you are good with playing the game of ask, ask me questions, tell no lies, essentially. Okay, so we're gonna ask questions. Um, that means if something comes out as a statement, we'll actually work to change it into a question. And you can almost always do that, right? So um, whoever is willing and want and willing to play the game, can you use your raise hand function? And it's not to ask a question, it's just to let me know that you're good with playing the game. Oh, I've got to find my... Ugh. I am Heather. <laughs> I can't find my hand again today. <laughs> I believe you, Leslie. <laughs> awesome. Oh. And, uh, oh, look at, and there's some attendees that are willing to play the game too. This is uh, Okay. Okay, so great. So um, the game is pretty simple. Oh, there. We're just gonna start asking some questions about what do we think a better tent city needs or could have or should do or whatever that is but please ask a question don't tell me turn it into a question so i'll give you an example a better sent to a better a better tent city needs to raise money how would you turn that into a question And anybody can answer. You don't need my permission. Go ahead. Is that me? Yeah. Sorry. How can a better tent city raise money? Exactly. Anybody else got a question? They don't have to be deep. This is like a brainstorm. How can a better tent city be replicated? How can a better tent city access the supports they need for the residents? Mm -hmm. How can we talk to our friends and communities in a way that gets them not only excited about this, but gets them involved in actually creating change to make the replication of better tent cities a reality? How is a great word, there's other words too. There's no right or wrong. Just trying to change that into a question. Nadine, put, Nadine Howell put one in the chat. Ah, how, can a, how can a better tent city find new land for their community? How can a better tent city find new land? Yeah. Hear it from the government. <laughs> You're not supposed to answer, Nadine. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> no. We're playing the game of questions. 
Okay. For the right. of a better tent city. <laughs> you can take anything from that because it's donations, okay? Yeah. If you want to take it. What Sorry, I'm mean? reading about the news. Okay. What we is were it? we were simply we were simply voicing the question, Nadine, that you had put into the chat. So it's your question. Not that Nadine. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, it's Nadine Howell. Awesome. Okay. Any other questions? Who doesn't know about Ten City that needs to know about it? Mm. Am I willing to have a Ten City in my backyard? Am I willing to have them in my neighborhood? You want to expand? Will I accept them as my neighbors? I think related to that, how do we change people's mindsets and reduce stigma? When will we get safe supply? Hmm. Nadine had another one. If I had a magic wand, what would help today? Oh, that's a great question. I love that question. Why would we want a better tent city and why would it be preferable than other forms of supportive housing or shelter systems? Dig deep. People, uh, attendees can use the questions and answers as well. And uh, Georgina will definitely, or Barb, either one will look at them. How does someone know if, if the 10 city is a good match for them? Ah, yes, Diane. What would the ideal, a better 10 city look like? Nice. If the goal of a of the Better Tent City is to make everyone stably housed, is the goal of the Tent City to make itself out of existence or to make sure that it doesn't no longer has to exist? Angela has another one. How do we know when we've reached our goal? And that's William read your mind. That's right. <laughs> I know there's more. I know there's more questions. Think about again, your journey. What were you learning? What were you thinking about? At what point do we stop calling it a better tent city and start calling it just a regular neighborhood? <laughs> this is getting exciting. Go deeper. Where do I get the energy to do everything that needs to be done? Where do I get it from? Got that, Barb. How do yeah. we get ahead of the game? Sorry, go ahead. Continue shouting them out. It's great. It's fun. You don't have to have the answers, do you? You just need to have a lot of questions. Keep going. How do you continue um, the community style and interactions um, as people move to more stable housing? Mm. Good question. Don't we all need a Nadine in our lives? That was my question. I'm going to sneeze, forgive me. Oh, oh. Nope, now I'm not. Okay. Any yes. others? Any other questions? Because this is all going into the report. <laughs> <laughs> what is the ideal size of a community? Like what was a, that, Laura? Say that again. What is the ideal size mm. of a community like a better tent city? Mm -hmm. Can we build a better tent city that includes kids with all the facilities that kids need? Hmm. Even temporarily. I saw Diane. Yeah, what decision makers and influencers need to be involved in building the strategy for a better tent city? Hmm. 
what's wrong with the way that we do housing normally that we need a better tent city? Do we have an assumption that we need bigger homes? Sort of, is, is there, sorry, is there an implication that Is there an implication that that tiny homes are not what we all need? Maybe that's all we need. There you go. Nice, simple question. You were trying to answer it. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I cast myself in time. <laughs> we all do it. That's why we all do it. Our first instincts are to find answers. Our first instincts are to have answers. And that's why we all get so damn stressed. Maybe it's easier to start with some questions. Any more questions? Go deep. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, beyond the, the tiny homes, uh, what should the uh, community room include? Uh, like, is it shelf? You have a roof, you have some food, but there's a community room. So, washroom, what else? Right. Okay. Should there be a community room? Should, should there be a community room? Hmm. Diane? Oh, Who are the current partners of a better tent city? And what, if any, resources could be shared? Great. Anything else? There's a question from Nadine. Could there be free medical and psychological support for a better tent city? Like, sorry, do, do you want me to answer that question? No, no, no answer. No. No no answer. Oh, okay, sorry. No. <laughs> I didn't hear because I'm doing like 10 things at once. Once there was a donation came in, so I was handing them out. It's okay. I'll turn off my mic. Yeah, this is the, the what's beautiful is that this is the easiest part of the day. This is so easy that it's almost impossible for us to grasp, which is to mm -hmm. ask questions, right? So let's just keep asking some questions. It's only 426, the time is going by quite quickly and we're going to actually be able to end early, which I know is gonna make everybody feel wonderful because we're gonna all- Well, I'm so up. proud of myself, Heather, because I did a whole day <laughs> and I got up early. <laughs> That's so amazing. Ron would have been proud of me because usually I don't get up till 12. <laughs> Ron might've even been proud of me. <laughs> yes, because he always wondered what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you do? Like that woman is the biggest enigma, and I know <laughs> why she's here. It was great. Um, so, more questions. Any questions about your own journey in a better yeah. tent city? Just are there other benefactors like Ron Doyle in our community that be would be willing to host and build a better tent city? I think it was Ron Doyle and some of the media that we were listening to earlier talking about breaking the rules and kind of just asking for forgiveness later. And my question is, how can we support a better tent city? Um, to, how do we support the people there to break the rules if we're not directly like giving our land or? Gosh, you're trying to answer that question again. You're close, but you're answering your own question. No, I was a, how do we, how do we support people? Oh, okay. Tear has one. It was, uh, it was good. Can we instigate change? Can we instigate change beyond being at the whims of benefactors and charity? And then Tammy Cochran is saying, how can the residents help with the future of a better tent city to empower themselves in the process of keeping this going. Any other how, questions? Yeah, how do we encourage more rule breaking? Ooh, it's a radical question. Yeah, from an auditor. <laughs> um, even really <laughs> radical. <laughs> Good question. Any other questions? From your own journey. Where can we get more land? 
<laughs> it, yep. See, it's just it's still a question, right? We haven't answered it. I'm not going, well, you know, I know where eating, right? I'm not doing any of that right now. Any more questions? What can we do to help other people to not want to look away? Hmm. And I mean, look away from poverty, look away from addiction, um, look away from profound mental health challenges. People don't want to look at it. They don't want to think about it. And like they don't want to live next door to it. Yeah, but like but I, um, I think that you're looking at it now, Heather, with uh, Laura, sorry. Like I keep mixing you and Laura. <laughs> I call Laura Heather and I call you Laura. Uh, Heather, yeah, Heather and Laura. But I think we're doing it by having this program today. People are going to start taking notice. Head out if you want. What was that? I had to unmute and Heather told me to. When she you can unmute. Live, and then everyone just asked a question. Oh, I'm not on mute. Sorry. Oh, okay. Anybody else? I thought she had a question. Anybody else got a question? There's some questions on the chat. And, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Georgina. Oh, sorry, Barb. Um, how do we put lived experience at the forefront from Angela? Dale asked, how do we reverse power so the 10 city residents are the ones doing this report? Right? Yeah, read my mind and worded it much better is the comment from Angela. They're already doing it because I live here. <laughs> exactly. Don't try to answer the question. Oh, don't. <laughs> Just questions. Gosh. You guys are okay. a tough class. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just put myself on mute. I talked oh, to you. Oh, you're good. I like your question. <laughs> I can't answer the questions. Anybody else? I'm trying to have a question. Okay, we'll come up with it. If, if it's a judgment, it's good because we'll just turn it into a question. It's no big deal. Yeah, right? But it's about... Um like to limit our expectation, to keep that openness, right? Like how do we go about, you know, we could talk about goals, but sometimes we limit ourselves in boxing in goals. So how do we uh, not do that, right? Because like, I'm taking the one right now, go big, go big, right? So we limit ourselves and well, okay, we reached our goals. Well, no big, we have no goals. There's big runs, right? Uh, how, do you, how, do, how do we have no goals? Is that a question? Like not limit ourselves in them, right? I guess, yeah. Can you turn that into a question before, instead of instead of an instruction, can you turn it into a question? It was close. Like it, you can use like a word like how or whatever, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I guess for myself in, in my own journey is, is to change my thinking, right? And that's, you know, we have the things that continue to happen. So how, so it's changing my thinking and how do I, how do I keep an open mind through the oh. whole process? That's a great question. That's my question, I'm done. And I'm just gonna add it, I'm gonna add to it. How do we keep open minds? How do we? And, and I do have my own judgments, right? From my lived experience, how do I keep that openness to listen to others and, and you know, see what's being done? Yeah. Great question. And also another question I heard there is, how do we not limit ourselves to our goals? How do we continue expanding the goals? Right? How do we not limit? Or here's, a, here's another question. You guys are gonna love this one. This is the first question I'm saying now, because I'm responding. How do we, um, Hmm. Okay, how do I say this? How do we how do we work to not go beyond our um no, I'm gonna simplify it. How do we lower our carbon footprint done? Right? 
That's the question I want to ask. Nadine Howell has a question. How can I use my new knowledge and passion about this ABTC community to be the change? Nice. Any other questions? Lloyd has a question. Yes. What can be done to have less people in need of 10 cities from a mental health viewpoint or from an addiction viewpoint? Nice. Um, again, how do we address the fact that it's pretty much all women here today? Hmm. <laughs> yep. Alvin got scared or he got busy or both. But he was my token. Just saying. <laughs> I can go get Alvin now. He's inside doing the hampers. Like you want to talk to him? <laughs> Tell him he was my token. I'll put him on the spot. <laughs> and because it's, it's an issue, right? How do we balance different perspectives? And how do we balance the needs of different people who are experiencing homelessness? And how do we not make a better tent city do everything? Does how, yeah. Go ahead. How and where do we find and support incredible people like Nadine? Nice. You go to Jamaica, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nadine. <laughs> when can I go to Jamaica? <laughs> okay, we're digressing. No. Uh, any other questions based on your experience before we close this out? Because it is 436. I feel like um, these, this is a really good way for us to end this report to allow the funders and uh, people with, with certain advocacy uh, in our chain of advocates, as well as our chain of lived experiences, because we're living, we're living an experience right now together, and we will have a, we will be different after this experience, because we have all shared this space and time together, and we've shared stories together that we can't ignore now. That doesn't mean that we're going to go save the world, and it doesn't mean that we're going to, uh, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I know I have superpowers, but I don't know about anybody else. No, uh, but um, we are forever changed for this experience that we've had together today. So with that in mind, we now have these questions that we can now give to the people um, that we promised to report to. They'll also get a transcript of everything else and everything else, but it's actually, to me, these questions that are going to be the driver and the dynamic that will support what's going to happen next. And do you feel lighter asking a question? Just ask me that. And if you hate it, this exercise, it's fine too. You can tell me that too. But it's the lightness that happens when I ask a question rather than always know the answer. And trust me, I love to know answers. Yes, Laura. Um, no, I think it was a great exercise. I just wanted to weigh in um, and, and share something with you that happened after um, everyone left the kitchen. Uh oh. <laughs> and uh, there was a very engaging conversation between residents about the need to uh, put a good face forward, put an honest face forward, about, you know, 50 some people living together, of course, there's going to be challenges, right, between people. And the fact that some people felt it was good to share that and others didn't. And um, what came of it, it was a really great conversation, was uh, Tim, the fella who said, you know, the problem with this place is the people, um, right? And except after, you know what he said, he, he was eating his sandwich by this point. And he said, but the best part of this place is that nobody gives up on you. He said, we are people who people have been given up or that people have given up on us all our lives. And he said, here, honestly, it doesn't matter what I do. Nobody gives up on me. 
and he's, I know he's speaking about Nadine, but he's also speaking about the fact that that community does. And um, anyway, it was really quite beautiful. And I said, geez, you could have said that to all these people watching. And he said, yeah, I could have. But he went over and started talking to the computer. But of course, you guys were long gone. <laughs> and uh, it was very sweet. But I just wanted to share that with everyone, because I do think we need a place where people can feel um, loved and respected and have dignity, regardless of how um, they find themselves in, in, at, at this juncture in their lives. So how can, how can we, how can we, uh, how, how can we, or how can you, or how can a better tent city mm -hmm. give love? What were the other things you said? Mm -hmm. There's dignity, respect, meet people where they are. That's all so important. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that and peace with you. It's a beautiful Heather. Yes. Sorry, I managed to drag fine Alvin. He's been hiding here. He is. Oh, awesome, Alvin. Hi, everybody. He just wanted to say a few parting words before. Oh, please. please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alvin, <laughs> Alvin, you didn't know that you're my male spoken. Only my male I can't, I can't hear a thing. Hang on. You can't hear me? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'll give you my headphones. Okay. Sorry, man. Oh, 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 like you can't. Way to end. Okay, now I'll be doing a closing just to help us end and close out the day because we've had a lot of uh, of help today. I heard the end of it. Hey. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> You're my token, Alvin. You're my token. Okay. You're the token guy. In the okay. I like totally it, it, like we've had men here, but they are so outnumbered by women. It, yep. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay. Yep. I but know, we love you. Know. You can be an honorary woman if you want. I got the body. <laughs> <laughs> How was today? I know you. I know you were super busy, and uh, Nadine says you were hiding. Um, but <laughs> I was. I have to I have no choice. You won't give me no. He was rest. hiding. He's scared. <laughs> no, I'm not scared, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> on his door, I, I'm like, Alvin, oh, I you gotta come out. He goes, Natty, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I've been up on the go since six o'clock. Garbage is a big thing around here, so. And uh, and we had some people here that were moving the brick, cleaning up the area, and moving sea cans. So I had to help those guys out. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I do appreciate you hanging in. Oh, I'm losing again. I can't hear you now. You work so freaking hard. Like, I, I think people have no idea how much. It is hard work, but the guys around here, I get a lot of help. Like, you may have to ask for it, but. But they do help. Nice. The girls, the girls and the guys help. So they each do what they're good at, you know, or what they like. So it comes together in the end. So the place is pretty good as far as I'm concerned compared to anywhere else I've been. You know. You know, so it's a good crew. It's a good crowd. Give them some space, let them live. So is there anything else you'd like to share with anybody or would you like to just be our closing our closing comments for today well you know i'm pretty happy with the way things are you know so like i said it's a good crowd we gave them a chance people that's here they were hard knocks like i said before they're not so hard see and um you know they're they're, they're all worth it each one of them so we just have to keep going, keep helping them. Whatever they need, we just, you know, they've been uh, they've been through a lot, most of them. So, you know what I mean? So have I, so I know at first hand what it's like, right? So, and for to have somebody, uh, you know, go out of their way to help you, you know, it's uh, unforgettable, right? So I remember pretty much anything that anyone's ever done for me. So, and same thing with these guys, right? So, you know, so we help. Uh, uh, you know, the methadone program, you know, is a key factor here. 
you know, and helping a lot of these people too. So, so um, it's impressive. So, so just keep up the good work, keep going. We need more resources. So, you know, people we need phones, we need a, a phone landline. We need uh, people that want to, you know, go look for jobs, we need a resource center. So, you know, I'll get in touch with family, whatever the case may be. So things like that, right? Get back to living. Nice. Right? So. I just want to say um, thank you. And yeah, yeah, anytime, no problem, no problem. Sorry, I can't hear you guys a little bit. I love it, I love it. All right, we love you, Alvin, even though we didn't see right, we you. We love you too. <laughs> uh, next time, don't worry, there will we'll be, be around. We're not going nowhere. Bob Nadine's not, <laughs> I won't be going far. <laughs> Did Nadine ever tell you we've been in a, a one fight in three years? Not bad. Not bad, eh? <laughs> uh, she beat me, mind you. <laughs> there you go. She's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> there you go. All right. You're all in your two All right. We'll see you guys later. And right. we're going to sign off. We're going to be doing a, uh, a, a closing ceremony with Kelly. She is going to. Uh, uh, okay, close the circle and wish everybody a great trip home. So I'm gonna put it over to you, Kelly. If everybody can, uh, you can keep your uh, keep your videos open, and you can uh, mute your microphones, um, and then we'll go. So Chimi Gwech, thank you, everybody. What a great day. Uh, Miigwech. Uh, it is has has been a long day. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Uh, the, you know, there's a song that has come to me this afternoon and it has a lot of meaning to myself in my own walk. It, it's a healing song because I feel that I'm very grateful to you for sharing your stories and there's healing out there that we need. So it's, it's, uh, it's called the longest walk. And when I was homeless, I did a lot of walking, a lot of walking. So on that journey, you know, this song reminds me of this walk, this healing walk. So if we can just think of all of us, you know, we're all just walking our paths, right? We can do it kindly to each other. So me quite everyone.
thing, everybody. You get to go home. 